Hi guys, how are you? So we are at Mineral City building number C. Um, they also have D right across the street and if we have time we'll check out D as well. Um, the Mineral City building show is known for very fine, fine uh, specimens that you know usually are a bit higher end that you can't find at the other shows necessarily or you just have to do a lot of digging. So if you're looking for precious stones or semi-precious stones, this would be a good show to go to. We're gonna go ahead and do a bit of a walk through through this one. Now we only have like 30 minutes at this show because they're gonna close down very soon. So this is gonna be my last show for today. <laughs> Possibly also Tucson Gem Show 2022 in general. So yeah, if, if you're new to this channel, welcome to Tucson Gem Show 2022. My name is Laura, this is Pleiadian Healer and definitely follow me along on my adventures. All right, and I'm not sure I can actually talk a whole lot during these, but we'll see, we'll see if we can actually film too. This is Tanzania minerals. Looks like a really nice aquamarine. White, right the there, the blue. We have sulfo. Thank you. So that was a really nice Herkimer diamond. Yeah, yeah. And now we're going to go to Merve yeah, de la Terre. We rent the house for 31 days or something like that. And it's $4,800. And by the time we pay the hotel, we pretty much make all of our own. This is really nice. It's, and yeah. you have washer and dryer. I think those are the clothes, prices, so $1,300 you know, for that. Possibly. So that's why this looks like a good. smoky amethyst. All right, I gotta see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. That looks like an amazing fluorite right there. So it's a fluorite from France. Oh my gosh, you guys. Just look at how amazing it looks. 
Gracias. And that's an amethyst. Let's check this one out real quick. Stone Trust. So I think the prices with some, they're like in the background, you know, this is like 17 over 50. This is a pyromorphite. So you get like really specific specimens. This is an amethyst stalactite for 500. I actually have a ring made out of one of those. And you have a lot of Herkimer diamond here. Already had one in the last one too. Piece of rhodoprosite. Fifteen hundred for that. And you have a floor right, right here, right next to it. This here. I'm sorry, we turned the lights off. Oh, it's okay. No, we were we were just closing, so that's why we. <laughs> oh, were, you are yes. okay. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, he's got right. over there. So then you have the shungite right here. This looks like shungite. I'm letting you use video for yourself, not for social media. No, oh, okay. No, no posting on the internet. Okay. okay, all right. Okay, that's the rule. So. I'm going to run this off. Robert. All right. Well, we're going to go to building D. Or actually, C. So, I'm, I don't know, I was like, I think the third vendor so far who didn't want that, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, so this is still part of building C. Thanks, yeah, thanks. I didn't mean it like that, but it is that. So. Big one? Yeah. I showed her my It's a lot of amethyst with hematite so far. Hey, how are you? Very well. Where are you guys from? Um, Where are you based? Tucker, who owns the room, he's from Tucson. Okay, gotcha. He lives here, but I'm up uh, in Seattle. Oh, okay. So All right, far. cool. Is that the one you want? I thought you were talking about the other one. Yeah, he wants this one. No, he wants this one. Yeah. I want that. I'm pretty sure I know who you got this from, or one of these. 
because they got swooped yeah. up before I bought it. Really? Yeah. Ooh, nice yeah. I'll be able to get like three good spears out of it. There's probably a couple of yeah. so We have like quite a few yeah, people he, here. He went in, went up there. This looks like um, Jackson's crossroads. I think he was trying really to sure. try and whittle his way into a free dig or something because he knew a couple of the folks on the other side. And, you know, they wouldn't let him camp with him. And they were like, well, you go here, you go there, you know, and then, you know, so if you start, if you hear a noise that sounds like this, you know, those are just the chuckers. They're not a big idea, but if you hear this, those are the mountain lions. And he started getting really scared, and then he ended up, he got just going down the mountain. Oh, that's yeah, hilarious. That's so yeah, we weaked him out. Oh, this is Earth's Treasures. I think my friend recommended this one, actually. Is it what? What are you really nice thing. You're crazy. He was like all freaked out and like, dude, there's nothing on you to eat. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, basically they're going to use you for floss. Floss. <laughs> That's just hilarious. This is how I get into it. We're gonna use you for your floss, bro. <laughs> I will sometimes say the worst things just to make people laugh. <laughs> We're gonna use you for floss. That's good. That is hilarious. Nothing like fixing metric. Three gallons per square meter. Okay. Yeah. So the last one with Earth's treasures, and I think that's something my friend actually recommended. Now it seems that most of these are kind of already closed down a bit. We're gonna see if we can check out hall number one of building D, but as you can tell, it's like really, really specialized stuff. Um, a lot of it is like in the hundreds of thousands, obviously. And honestly, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the side here. I'm not really sure you're getting a good price with some of those because you know, we saw a lot of Herkimer Diamond at the other show. You got really nice pieces there. It's just like these were specialized pieces that look like a certain way, you know, like those Herkies looked a certain way and everything, but you can get good deals at the other shows too for high quality stuff. Um, I'm going to take off in the morning. So, investments from Earth is this one. And we have crystallized right here. Actually, let's just go here. I don't trust y'all. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of aquamarine. I didn't know what you're talking about. I'm sure there has been incidents. I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about. 2,500. Have you thought about it? It's probably not. It's probably not. I mean, I just have a question. Exactly. 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 Yeah, we gotta check this out. Yeah. What's subhuman? Not just heading the whole time. <laughs> 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 that is the kind of that is the kind of thing. I think it's so good, bro. That's one of the market. Let's go out the back corner. Mm -hmm. Right here. No repairs, no restoration. It's not perfect. It's weird though because it's like a whole, it's not like a, um, it's almost like just the back side of this chip. Because like the, the corner looks clean that way. You're talking about this corner? No, this one here. Yeah, no, this one's got a little, it's on the back. back. Yeah. No, I was to Good, how are you? Good Where are you guys from? Uh, I live in New York. Oh, cool. Yeah. Which part? Like Queens. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Where are you guys? Are you? Do you have a store? In Not yet. Oh, okay. Um, so I grew up in New York. I've been living in Oregon the last five years. I'm okay. Transitioning to move back to New York. Oh, you are. Yeah, my business partner over there, Ian. He just bought a house in Queens Village. Um, okay. So after the show, I'm moving back. To, to Queens. New York, yeah, we're gonna open up like an office there. It's not gonna be like a store, but it'll be. You're not gonna a have space. a store. Yeah. Do you have a store in Oregon? No. You don't have. Online. You only do shows. Yep. Yeah. And online. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah. These are nice. Thanks. Oh well, yeah, we'll have like a, a gallery space in New York, but it'll be for private shows. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So you just get on your newsletter to get access to the private shows or something? Yeah, it'll just be you know if people are coming through the area and want to come see it. Come see it. Like, okay. I don't want to have like a space where if someone's walking by, it's like 99 oh, gotcha. out of 100 people aren't going to care. Right. Okay. So, yeah. So, you know, just having a storefront adds a lot of overhead. That's true. Yeah. Nice. But curating a beautiful space can okay. be done affordably in New York. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep an eye out. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. So that was crystallized. We have web minerals. And, ooh, this looks nice with Dreamcatcher. I um, actually some of the pieces in it, and I hate it because I was like, oh, I'm gonna be selling stuff. But I didn't. Yeah. Pay were more site. Yeah. Because he always has stuff I want. He always he. Uh, Reba has my taste. Do you like only put fluoride powder? No. Iridescent, iridescent metallic. Um, this looks cool. Fossils and aesthetic things like. A lot of fluoride. He usually gets, Reba usually gets me the. More fluoride right shit, here. Like, I got an aught tonight from him one time. Was, an wow, and look at this one. Great. Um, yeah. um, it's right here. Who's so who's Reba? Reba's the owner of here. He's not here right He's now. He's not here right now. Okay. So Zamethyst. Oh, Reba's out today. And they won. I think won. I saw him today at my show. Yeah. Yeah. 3,500 for yeah, yeah, the third. So that's pretty good. So that piece. Um, oh, yeah. I like, wanted it. And I was like, yes. And then I just, it's hard because I don't know where to keep it. Because I keep all my minerals so close to me. <laughs> and I'm like. It's, it's, it's really okay. We sealed it. And yeah. Garnet, like, 1,200 you know, right there. That's pretty like, neat. No, it's really good. another garnet so right next to it. Mitts. So it but, right? um, but if they treat it, if it's treated properly, which they have a lot. This is so neat. The hidden properly. Yeah. Like so that's, there's no price on yeah. that one, but that's and from North Carolina, Carolina actually. Yeah. Cool. They have a lot of, right. what do they have? They have, do they have garnet in North Carolina? I think garnet, no, quartz, and other things. I just moved back from, I just moved out of the Obviously, north Milwaukee. Um, wow, this is special. So this thing right here, Indie Soul Light Tourmaline, 5,900. I told you the wrong price on that. It's a 4,000 net. 4,000 net? Yeah. I had it mixed up with another piece. But I double checked It's so pretty cool. Right yeah. I can pull it out if you like. No, I can see it. It's a great crystal up here. It's just got that damage in the front. Because I spent a lot of time. 550. It's a good piece of so. bromado. When I get out of here, when I'm done here, I'm going to Maui. I love surf. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love surf. But not in California. That makes it better. I'll think about it a little more now. It's another fluorite piece right there. 16,000. <laughs> All right. So there's still a bit back there, but um, I think overall I'm going to probably end the stream. There's like stuff in the background there too. It's just incredibly, incredibly hard to actually talk during it. So I think he got an idea of what Mineral City is a bit about. So it kind of goes like this here over a few different warehouse buildings. And so that's number C. And right now we're number D, so it's parking is a bit limited, obviously. Even I came this like really, really late. 
um, but I hope it gives you an idea. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining this last show today. <laughs> Mind blowing. I hope you enjoyed Tucson Gem Show 2022 and talk to you another time. Bye guys, have a wonderful one. And until then, adios. <laughs> Enjoy crystal shopping.